Piet Kynes is also a hero and messianic figure of sorts to the Fremen of Arrakis, and in a sense represents a secondary father figure to Paul, who loves his daughter, Chani. Kynes is the imperial ecologist, though he himself prefers the term planetologist and the emperor's judge of the change, a position the purpose of which is to ensure and report on the transition of power on Arrakis from House Harkonnen to House Atreides. In the first appendix of Dune, entitled The Ecology of Dune, we learn how Liet took over from his father Pardo Kynes, the first planetologist of Arrakis. Liet's mother is a Fremen, and he is raised in this manner. He is also raised with an education in ecology, which his father provides him with. He is able to inherit his father's position as imperial ecologist due to the feudal Faufreloix class structure, and remains a rare good example of this within the novel. His father was an ecologist and so he too is expected to become one. As such, it is principally down to the Kynes family that the Fremen have begun their long term plans to transform the ecology of Arrakis from a desert world to an Eden like paradise. The course had been set by this time. The ecological Fremen were aimed along their way. Liet Kynes had only to watch and nudge and spy upon the Harkonnens until the day his planet was afflicted by a hero. After Kynes has been left for dead in the desert by the Harkonnen, with his still suit torn, he wanders thinking over the discussions and lessons his father taught him and the path that he has set the Fremen on. Both Liet and Pardot Kynes are aware of the necessities required around a long term ecological project. In understanding the requirements of the planet, and the need to use the Fremen as tools of geomorphic change, they also recognise the different ways that ecology can be managed through the Fremen. Their lifestyle can be used to promote and ensure these changes continue through politics, culture, religion and economy. Pardo Kynes only sees one thing as being problematic for his cause, which is that of changing the face of Arrakis. No more terrible disaster could befall your people than for them to fall into the hands of a hero, his father said. Liet, however, in his dying moments finally understands that which his father did not, namely that the superstitions of the Fremen relating to the Lisan al Gaib and Mahdi can be used to assist this process of change. Kind's final revelation in the chapter which features most heavily ecology as its theme is the realisation that his father and other ecologists have in fact been incorrect the entire time, and that more often than not, accident and error govern how events and plans really turn out. Liet, like the other father figure and hero archetype Leto I, brings disaster to his people the Fremen, who superstitiously and blindly follow his ecological goals. Kynes also represents the bringing of Western ideas of the environment and ecology to a people who are used to living symbiotically within their ecosystem. The ecological changes he sets in motion will ultimately bring destruction to the Fremen as their planet transforms from a harsh desert to a garden world. <laughs>